Organization for Economic and Cooperation Development states that the COVID-19 crisis has forced school closures in 188 countries, heavily disrupting the learning process of more than 1.7 billion children, youth, and their families. I know for many of you, quarantine came super fast and very unexpectedly. Most of the time, it was probably by a phone call to your teacher saying, hey, come down to the office. And with the pandemic going on, you probably knew, oh no, I'm going home. How many of you guys were quarantined from school? Quite a few of us, almost everybody. So I'm going to explain to you guys some of the effects that this pandemic has had on our education system worldwide and also in our district specifically, both for students and for teachers. First of all, how many of you, school is where you see most of your friends. It's where you spend the most time with them. Okay. So being quarantined for two weeks and being thrown into isolation at your house, it took away that you know, physical presence of you seeing your friends pretty much every day at school. So for a lot of people, that's hard, especially if you have classes with them, you talk to them in person, and you don't text as much. Um, students also had to learn new concepts and new units and prepare themselves for any quizzes or tests without any in-person help. I know myself personally, and probably some of you guys, if a concept is really hard, especially like math, you would rather have a teacher sit right next to you and explain it step by step. So a lot of students found it hard to go through online learning and notes and learn those new concepts and really be able to understand it fully, especially when you would be expected to come back to school after two weeks in quarantine and take a test and be caught up with the rest of your class. Furthermore, figuring out Canvas could have been a struggle for some students, especially if prior to quarantine, your teacher wasn't very well aware of how do I set up my Canvas as easy as possible for my students to be able to access the information that they need to know. Along with all of these assignments that would be posted online and to students were expected to do, there's a huge responsibility aspect that came into quarantine. I know for a lot of people, if you don't have to wake up for school, why would you? You don't have to go in for first hour and be there when a bell rings, so you would sleep in. Well, easily that leads to you wake up, you sit on your phone for an hour, you want to go eat food. And so after some time, you're finding yourself behind in your classes, whether it's your purple or your gold day, and you would just slowly have a list of assignments, that canvas to-do list is growing bigger, and it was sometimes hard to keep yourself responsible. And I know that having a teacher right in front of you saying, here's an assignment, you need to do it at school, you're more likely to do it right then and there instead of pushing it off. Um, <clears throat> understanding harder concepts really became difficult and you kind of have to hope that your teacher communicated with you in a really good way through Canvas, whether it was an email, an announcement, a little note in the modules, they would really try to help you understand, okay, here's where my notes are, here's the quiz I need to do, and it's kind of hard to grasp where everything was for the unit. This caused a lot of students to find themselves playing catch up. You might, have, you might have come back to school and you were behind by a few assignments, but the whole time you were gone for two weeks, the class had kept going, right? They kept moving through the unit and now you are expected to be right where they are. On the flip side of these negative points, I think that COVID has really allowed the world to see how technology could be a good thing. So of course now we have AMI days. Teachers are more developed in how to use technology to their best benefit and be able to have an in-person classroom and an online classroom and really have all the information shared to everyone. So for teachers, they had to keep track of both classrooms, right? They didn't know when kids would be quarantined. They were given no warning, just a phone call to their classroom. And they also had all of their normal classes in school. So a lot of teachers have found it difficult to bounce back and forth between managing both their online kids and communicating with them in a direct way to make sure that they understand everything, and also their classes in person and kids moving in and out pretty much every day based off of new quarantines and cases rising. A lot of teachers found themselves having to work outside of their normal teaching hours, which really for them was a struggle because they felt like they were doing so much outside of what they should have had to. So keeping their online kids in track with everyone else really required some outside thought 
to be put in and communicate possibly after they were done with their in-person kids, you know, in the evening when they're at home with their families, there could be a kid emailing them saying, hey, I need help, and they would jump on and help them. Dr. Sable says that since the majority of online learning is dependent upon a student's ability to complete self-directed work, students who thrive on routine and direction could find online learning lacking. So for many students, you have a routine where you show up to school, you have the same classes, same schedule all the time, and that's really good for a lot of people because it keeps you on track. However, on a more positive note, a lot of students are not as social as they want to be at school. And so sometimes that quiet environment at home was actually a good thing for them. And they were able to maybe even get caught up in their classes if they were falling behind. So overall, I hope that I have been able to wrap up some of the effects of the pandemic for you guys and how it has really changed your life. And I hope that we can get out of this soon, but maybe now you guys see that there are a lot of negatives with the pandemic happening. However, there's also some positives.